In this competitive market, every now and then, I do still see properties that do not sell and it's removed from the market. They're called cancel or expired listings. Now, if you're one of those unfortunate homeowners where your property didn't sell, this video is for you. Welcome to Everything LA Real Estate. I'm your host, Mike, with Martin and Mike Properties. And today, I'm gonna to share with you why your property didn't sell. You might be frustrated, confused, worried like, hey, how come every other property is selling in this market, but why didn't my property sell? And I'm gonna give you some pointers as to why I believe your property didn't sell. My first question to you would be, did you price your home correctly? It still surprises me every now and then I still see homeowners pricing their home like it was 2021 and 22. Yes, there's still more buyers out there, but that doesn't mean every buyer is gonna pay any price out there, okay? So did you price it correctly? The first one to three weeks is the most critical time when your home is on the market. So if you overpriced it, you're just gonna help your neighbors sell their properties faster than yours. Buyers are gonna look online, see an overpriced property, and they're just gonna wait for you to do a price reduction. So longer days on market doesn't also help you. So did you price it correctly? Think about that. Next, I'll ask the following. Was it easy for buyers to tour your property? I get it, it's tough when you're living in the property to clean up, prepare for the showings, but like I said, the first one to three weeks is the critical time to get home sold. So were you flexible with the showing? Did you pretty much limit the amount of showings? Did you have strict hours for showings? Was it only on the weekends, maybe two hours a day? Think about that. If you limited the amount of showings, that means less buyers had the opportunity to sell your property. So if less buyers tour your property, that means your home's not gonna sell. So did you limit your showings? Next one, the old saying goes, first impressions is everything. So what was the first impressions? When a buyer walked in, did they feel like, wow, this is such a beautiful property? Or did they feel like mm, the place might be a little too small since there's a lot of furniture, maybe you had all of your, your family portraits out there, the buyer just couldn't visualize themselves, their families living in your property. What was the first impression? Did you have a lot of repairs that were visible that the buyers were like, ah, this house needs a lot of work and they just bypassed it? So like I said, at the end of the day, first impressions count. Buyers buy on emotion first and then justify by logical reason. So, First impression, how was your first impression? Look at your home through the eyes of a buyer, not through your eyes, from the eyes of a buyer, from their perspective. You could judge if your property had a beautiful flow or not. Next, I would say your willingness to negotiate. Did you have any offers? If you did, you know, was it below your asking that you just weren't happy with the price? Did you try to meet the buyer somewhere in the middle? At the end of the day, a home is worth what a buyer is willing to pay for. So did you try to negotiate to come to a middle ground with the buyers? Or maybe you didn't get any offers at all. Did you even consider reducing your price? Were you flexible or not? So that's another question to ask yourself. Lastly, I'll say, did you choose the right agent? Did you hire an amateur agent or a professional? Let's be real, at the end of the day, every agent is quite different. Not everyone negotiates the same way. Not everyone markets a property the same way. So did you have a guide by your side? Were they fighting for you or did they just take a few photos, put it on the MLS and hope the property would sell? So think about that. Did you hire a good agent on your side or not? So in closing, if you're still interested in selling your property and are just curious, you know, what went wrong, reach out to me. I'll take a look at your property. I'll give you my two cents on what happened, why you didn't sell, and more importantly, I'll give you the proper steps to take to get your home sold. I'm Mike with Martin My Properties. Comment below, subscribe to our channel, and I hope you found value out of this video. Take care.